At the end of February 2022, Russian forces started full-scale invasion of Ukraine. The war brought many bad things, but one man who emerged as a hero and whole world looked onto is President Zelensky, who is a comedian turned politician. Volodymyr Zelensky announced his candidacy in the 2019 Ukrainian presidential election on 31st December 2018. And surprisingly, he won the election with 73.2% popular vote, which was held on March 2019. No matter how popular you are, you cannot get 73% votes with three months of campaigning. You have to be immensely popular in the country to achieve such. In 2015, Zelensky played the role of the Ukrainian president in the TV series called Servant of the People. The series was so popular that people started to believe that Zelensky should be the president of the country and he can fix the country's problems like corruption, etc. Now, this video is not about some politician like President Zelensky. It's about who funded and owned Zelensky. Ihor Kolomoisky, the most powerful Ukrainian oligarch. We at Business Chronicles tell the stories of extraordinarily successful people. Please subscribe to our channel to help us in making more videos. The man who is behind Zelensky's enormous success is none other than Ihor Kolomoisky, also known by his nickname, Benya. Want to know who is Ihor Kolomoisky and how he helped Zelensky to become what Zelensky is today? Watch the full video and let us know about your thoughts in the comment section. The question that arises is, who this Ihor Kolomoisky is? No one outside Ukraine had ever heard his name. Kolomoisky founded and controls Privat Group, through which he owns almost everything in Ukraine. He controls thousands of companies in virtually every industry in Ukraine. According to various estimates, Kolomoisky's net worth is between $1.8 billion to $6.24 billion. But as his wealth is private, it is difficult to get the exact number. As the group is private and none of the group's companies are publicly traded on any stock exchange, it's very difficult to get information on what exactly its finances look like. But for starters, the group owns Ukraine's largest TV operator, One Plus One Media Group, which controls 95% of Ukraine's TV. Other groups' ownership and stakes include Ukraine's largest commercial bank, Privat Bank, one of the country's largest oil refineries, Ukrnafta, and Halchinya, Biola Soft Drinks Company. The group also controls electricity plants in five states known as Oblast in Ukraine. The group also owns many steel companies. In USA, the group owns various buildings and are the largest holder of real estate in downtown Cleveland. The group portfolio includes one Cleveland Center and 55 Public Square. The group previously owned Huntington Bank Building and the Penton Media Building. Ihor Kolomoisky has Ukrainian, Israeli, and Cypriot passports, even Ukrainian law forbids dual citizenship. One journalist, Serhii Andrushko, questioned about his triple Ukraine, Israel, Cyprus citizenship. He replied, in the Constitution, it says dual citizenship is forbidden, but triple citizenship is not forbidden. In 1963, Ihor Kolomoisky was born in Dnieper Opetrovsk, Ukrainian SSR Soviet Union, to Jewish family of engineers. In 1985, he got his bachelor's degree in metal and petroleum industries from the Dnieper Opetrovsk Metallurgical Institute. In 1986, after one year of graduation, he got a job in a small trading business, Fianet. In 1991, Kolomoisky started to import goods and equipment from Moscow to his hometown, Dnieporopetrovsk. Later that year, he realized that it was more profitable to import the metal and oil, so together with Leonid Miloslavsky, Alexei Martinov, and Hennady Bolyabov, he founded Sentosa Limited and started to import metal and petroleum products. In 1992, Serhii Tihipko came to him with the offer to open a new bank and together they founded Privat Bank in Latvia, with Serhii Tihipko being the first chairman of the board. The bank targeted private entrepreneurs and it was the first Ukrainian bank to introduce plastic cards and ATMs. The big breakthrough came in 1995 when the bank joined voucher privatization. In 2016, the bank was nationalized by the government of Ukraine taking 100% ownership. Once Ihor Kolomoisky established himself as a business elite in the Dnieper Petrovsk region, he made many links in politics as to run a successful business in Ukraine. One must have strong political connections. One of such connections was Dnieper Petrovsk governor Pavlov Lazarenko, 
who later became Prime Minister of Ukraine in 1996. It is believed that Pavlo Lazarensko was the key player to bypass or fast-track certain government regulations that Kolomoisky businesses needed. Kolomoisky openly talked about his political investments that included his $5 million investment in the Orange Revolution. Orange Revolution was civil resistance in Kiev, the Ukrainian capital, which took place in 2004 against the president of Ukraine, that time Viktor Yushchenko. In 2014, after the removal of President Viktor Yanukovych government, Ihor Kolomeisky became the governor of Dnepropetrovsk, which he kept the position for one year. In 2016, he joined the political party Ukrop and headed one of the party bodies. In 2015, he told at parliament meeting that he paid $110 million in bribes to former President Leonid Kuchma. He also told that since 2003, he had been paying $5 million in bribes every month. In 2016, the political party, Party of Decisive Change, was created by Eugene Yordiga. In around 2018, the party was renamed to Servant of the People as the TV series Servant of the People that starred current Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky became a super hit in Ukraine. Ivan Bakanov, who was childhood friend of Zelensky, became first leader of the rebranded party. In 2015, Volodymyr Zelensky was an established comedian and actor, produced TV series Servant of the People. The series was aired on One Plus One Network, which was owned by Ihor Kolomoisky. In 2018, Zelensky announced his candidacy in the 2019 Ukrainian presidential election on the same network One Plus One. Zelensky was also born in same oblast, Dnepropetrovsk, where Ihor Kolomaisky was born. In 2020, the Parliament of Ukraine passed the bill that ensures Privat Bank is not returned to its ex-owners, Ihor Kolomaisky and Gennady Bogolyubov. Servants of the People Party deputy Alexander Dubinsky, who was his former employee, defended Ihor Kolomaisky against the bill by presenting a much more favorable alternate bill. In 2016, during audit of Privat Bank, the Audit Committee of Ukraine government found that 113 billion Ukrainian rivnia were missing, which is equivalent to $3.79 billion. The state nationalized Privat Bank after the event. In 2019, after the appointment of Zelensky as president, a Ukrainian court ruled that the nationalization of Privat Bank was illegal. In 2017, the High Court of London ordered to freeze $2.5 billion worth of assets owned by Ihor Kolomoisky. In 2019, FBI started investigations on his business in Ohio for money laundering. In 2020, the Justice Department of USA accused him of embezzling money and laundering the proceeds through shell companies to purchase real estate in the United States. Ihor Kolomaisky, like other Russian and Ukrainian oligarchs, rapidly accumulated wealth through political connections. The 1990s voucher privatization made him a billionaire overnight by arbitraging the vast difference between the old domestic prices and global prices. Apart from his political connections, right partnerships made him enormously rich and successful, like partnerships with Serhii Tihipko, helped him to establish the biggest bank in Ukraine. His partnership with Volodymyr Zelensky enabled him to create the greatest show in Ukraine. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this.